Hey there, guys. Thank you for tuning in today. Um, a very unique car. It's a 1950 Studebaker Commander Starlight Coupe. We're going to get right into it in just a moment. Take a look at some of these shots. We're back, we're ready to roll. This car is one of those uh, first that came off post-World War II, and it has a lot of that to go with it. Looking at it, we got a big bullet nose up front. This, you know, 1950 Studebaker was famous for it. These cars were way, way ahead of their time in the styling, um, and it played into that kind of space age era where so much of this car is kind of taken from aeronautical design. It's curves, it's nose, wait till we get to the glass at the back of this car. But while we're up here, we got this hood popped. I wanna tell you a little bit about what's cooking under the hood. This motor has been rebuilt, has a ton, a ton of originality in here. It looks just like it would've back in the day. This is an inline six making 100 horsepower. 245 cubic inches are doing it. This has their famous L head, and it is painted up a lovely green to match and go with it. We got a two barrel over there. Look at these nice big horns we have. This is all very, very correct and sharp as well. Any good Studebaker enthusiast ought to be able to appreciate that as much as we can. Now, I'd like to seal this hood up real quick and give you a look at the crown jewel on top. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Voila, there she is, that big old missile, clear, clear like a crystal, we got it, these are almost impossible to come across today, thank goodness this one has been cared for all these years, and all these parts have remained with it, that is very, very cool. All right, coming down the side of this sleek mobile here, those tires look like they've got almost no miles on them. This one has been totally redone. One thing I always loved on that car too there are your side vents, good and proper. And then that commander badge, letting everyone know as you cruise by them. These Studebakers were hot, guys. You see that chrome down low? Big, big rear sweeping uh, rear quarter here. They've got the splash guards on them. Those center caps look very sharp. We have a nice fuel door here that doesn't open like all of them. It opens up and instead of, you know, side to side there. And you come around back. We won't see any reverse lights on here. Very, very cool. All the bright work on this car too is looking wonderful, it has all been redone. Even the, the little beauty rings and bezels around all these lights. And another neat little feature, another kind of like wing like a plane here. This is going to pop right up here and you will see a very highly detailed trunk on this car. All the seals look newer, the carpet, everything is looking very, very wonderful. Someone has put a lot of time into making this correct. Thank you for that. This car too, guys, is um, documented in the Studebaker Historical Society there, which is always very, very good. Now, another thing too, if you take a few steps back, you could be confused on which way this car is coming at you. The way all this glass sweeps around, it is like you know the front of an airplane almost. And then the front of the car, it looks like a front of an airplane. So it uh, is very, very unique. Again, I've said it once, I've said it twice now. These cars were very much ahead of their time in styling. And, you know, this was like on the cusp of that space age stuff that uh, came to follow. This paved the way. This is a very, very cool car. You would be lucky 
to be driving one of these back in the day. You were doing something right. All right, guys. So like I mentioned a moment ago, this car has been restored. And, you know, just a car like this, this high end, this kind of special, they don't remake a lot of this stuff and you can't get your hands on it. So something like this big steering wheel in front of me, it does have a couple little spots in it, but those are just authentic wear. This is irreplaceable stuff. It is all here. And again, something 70 years old. If you're 70 years old, you got a bump, you got a bruise, you got a scratch or a scar. It don't make you any, any less good. It's just authentic and it's real and it's still gonna do everything you need it to do. And your car's got a little bit of character. So we'll call that cool. Um, these are very, very cool. I don't know if the camera will catch it, but the innards of all these rings are looking like gold from here. That's awesome. I love it. Even just the font that all these letters are in. You look at our mile per hour gauge going up to 100. They're fat, fat letters. I feel like I'm uh, watching the screen roll by at the cinema here. This is just very, very cool, period correct, um, but with all that class. The handbrake is my favorite pull handbrake ever. And then a little button here to send her back on in. Um, we have, you know, very interesting switches and poles that you will not see on anything else. There we go. Little map lights. I have air over here. Defrost. Those are very neat. This one is a manual transmission. You're going to shift it right on the column. It's a three speed. All very good and fun. A cool little speaker in here. The styling is very, very elegant. I like how they work this in. This is impressive just on a, a manufacturing standpoint for the 50s. Glove box, it'll fool you. You're not going to push here. Forget about the stainless door. This is really what works me up. That was a very, very cool latch there. And then the stainless door is the cherry on top. It continues the rest of the way as you sweep around. Rear view mirror on the dash. And then you make your way towards the back of this car. And you will see we have room for more. The feeling, the setting back there. Imagine sitting in this car. You got glass all around you like a panorama here that is so so cool a little bit of a sun deck up there have armrests and ashtrays in the back these seats here the tops of them fold up so your passengers can get in and out of there for the right person you could probably do one two three i imagine and then another one two three up here and cruise the whole family wherever you're heading this is a cool car This car, there, there is there is much to talk about. You know, we have a lot of beautiful things here and there and all around it. It's been totally restored. It's documented. It is a lovely, lovely driver. I wish we could spin it for you today, but we just got some snow out here in Michigan, so we're going to have to hold off. If we still got it come springtime, I'll happily spin it around for you and add it into this video here. A um, couple of things to know. Studebaker, very, very cool car. This one is all correct. It's been restored. You're gonna be able to jump in here, turn key and uh, hit the streets. Lastly, guys, before we go, if you wanna make this one yours, if you've been looking for a car like this for a while, give us a call and we'll tell you more about it. Tell you a little bit about the purchase process too, if that interests you. The number to dial us is 248-714-2110. Uh, my name is Mackenzie with LaFontaine Classic Cars. As always, it is my treat and we look forward to hearing from you. We'll see you in the next one.